Are you suffering with a swollen knee and you're wondering what to do about it? If you are, then this video has the answer for you. My name is Will Harlow and I'm the over 50s specialist physio here at HT Physio in Farnham. And today I'm going to be telling you exactly what you should be doing if you've got a swollen knee. Now a swollen knee can be caused by a number of different things. Some of them are an injury and others are a process that have occurred slowly over time. We're going to talk about what can commonly cause a swollen knee and then I'm going to be showing you exactly how to treat it based on the time scale that you've had the swollen knee for. Now, causes of a swollen knee can be many, so we're not going to talk about all of them, but most of the common ones can be categorised into two different buckets. So the first bucket is anything that's been caused by what we call an acute injury. And an acute injury is a sprain, it's a twist, it's a knock, it's a bang, it's a fall. Anything that's caused an impact or some kind of injury to occur in the moment. So that's the first bucket. We'll talk about that in a moment. The second bucket is what we call chronic. And the chronic bucket encompasses things like arthritis, and other problems that slowly develop over time where there's no specific injury, but it still hurts and there's still swelling and there's still a problem in the knee. So the first job that we have in the clinic here when we're trying to deal with someone's swollen knee is to decide whether the cause is an acute injury or a chronic problem. So that's the first thing you should think about when you're trying to treat your own knee. Now on the acute side of things, so the injury side of things, there are a number of things that can be injured. If we have a knee, you can have a knock to the knee, that can cause swelling and you'll often have bruising with that as well. You might have twisted your knee and that can cause something called an acute meniscus tear, which is inside the knee. That usually causes swelling to show up very slowly after the injury. You could also have a ligament sprain. So you could sprain the ligament on the inside of the knee or the outside of the knee, or more seriously, you could sprain the ligaments on the inside of the knee called the ACL and the PCL. Now, if you have a ligament injury, if it's on the outside of the knee, it tends to swell quite quickly. But if you have a ligament injury on the inside of the knee, that can happen more slowly. So there can be no swelling at the time, and then as the day wears on, the swelling grows and grows and grows. And that's just because of the site of the injury. You can also have bangs, knocks, bruises. Lots of other things can happen around the knee that involve an injury that can cause swelling. On the chronic side of things, so on the side of things that develop slowly over time, you can have arthritis. So wear and tear of the cartilage, either behind the kneecap or between the two main bones in the knee, that can start to cause swelling around the knee as well. You can have something called a degenerative meniscus tear, which is when the meniscus wears down over time, which is a process quite similar to arthritis, but with a few key differences. You can have tendon problems, like a tendonitis. So you can get swelling at the front of the knee here if you have a patella tendonitis. And you can also have swelling around the kneecap if you have something called patellofemoral irritation, which is irritation around this joint here, the one that joins the kneecap to the femur. So the first thing to decide is which one of those two buckets you fall into. Is it the acute injury or the chronic injury? And you can work that out just based on how your swelling started and when it started. So now that's happened, you've noticed you've got a swollen knee. The next question you need to ask yourself is, do I also have pain? Is my knee giving way? And do I have any problems with bending it? If the answer is yes to any of those questions, you should probably get assessed by a professional before you do anything else. But if the answer is yes to those questions, the first thing you should do after you've spoken to someone and arranged an appointment is put something cold on your knee. Now, if your knee is swollen, what that usually indicates is that you have inflammation around the area, inflammation or irritation. And that causes either fluids to gather around the knee or true swelling, which is more like uh, inflammatory chemicals 
not just water, there's other stuff that can happen as well, which causes a lot of irritation around the knee and can lead to worsening pain. So if you have pain, if you have uh, a knee that feels like it might give way, and if you have a knee that's lost the ability to move it or bend because it feels quite sore, then ice is the best thing to put on your knee if it's swollen, okay? So swelling around a knee with those symptoms, any of those three symptoms, put ice on the knee while you wait for a professional opinion. Now we recommend people do that usually for at least 72 hours after the pain or the swelling has become apparent, okay? So 72 hours of on and off ice treatment. Each time you apply the ice, we would do that for 15 minutes at a time. Then you take the ice off, let the area heat back up to its normal level. Then you can apply the ice again. There's no limit to how many times you can do that. Now, after that 72 hour period, what we should notice is that the swelling has reduced down, the pain has reduced down, you can bend the knee better, and it doesn't feel like it's going to give way as much. That's a really good sign, and it means that if the swelling is gone, you can probably stop with the ice treatment. Now, when the swelling has disappeared, we need to address the rest of the problems that are there. So you might still have pain, you might still have weakness, you might still have funny noises coming from the knee, you might still notice that it's going to give way. And in any of those situations, the next step is obviously to work out what's going on. But the first 72 hours are key for the cold treatment. Now, if you have an arthritic knee and it doesn't necessarily hurt that much, it doesn't give way, it doesn't feel that stiff, but sometimes it swells up and it decreases in size, the thing I usually tell people in that position is when it's very swollen, you can apply ice to it. But if that's a problematic knee and it doesn't have swelling, you should apply heat to it because that helps to limit stiffness. It helps to improve blood flow and it can actually prevent swelling later down the line because you have a better function of your knee. So if the swelling is not there, we usually go down a heat route. If the swelling is there, we usually start off with an ice route. An ice route. But after 72 hours, depending on the injury, that advice might change. So I hope that's made sense. That's the first thing you should do when it's swollen. The second thing you should do is you should try and rest it until the swelling goes down. So we want to try and take relative rest. We want to try and not walk any more than you normally would and maybe cut your walking distance down in half. Definitely don't run. Definitely don't do anything too energetic. Definitely don't spend lots of time doing housework. You can probably cycle as long as your bike is on low resistance, so on uh, like a, a low gear, then that would be okay as well, just to keep things moving. But generally you don't want to be doing too much weight bearing. Now the third thing you should do when you are resting is you should pop your foot up. And you want to have your foot popped up so that your knee is just elevated above your hip. Now what this does is it, is it helps the blood and the swelling and the inflammation to start to drain out up towards the heart. And that's where it gets cleared away by the blood vessels, it goes through the lymphatic system and your swelling should gradually come down. Now the next thing you should do as well, if you find that that's not dealing with it, is you should wrap something tight around your knee, if it's not painful to do so. So a nice thing to wrap around your knee would be like a towel, you can put something uh, cold inside it as well so that you get the ice effects too. And that combination, rest, ice, compression, elevation, we learned that in school, that is a good combination to get rid of swelling from the knee. Now when the swelling starts to decrease, you can start to improve your activity again, you can start to pick things back up. But after two weeks of having a swollen knee, we usually recommend not too much resistance, so we wouldn't do too much in the way of you know, squatting or cycling uphill, running, walking uphill, that kind of thing should be kept to a minimum really, just to allow everything to settle. If you get past the two week point, the knee's not swelling, then you can start to build your activity back up again. All in all, what you must do is get an assessment to work out what's caused the swelling, but hopefully these tips should help you to cope with it in the short term. Anyway, I hope that's been helpful. If you find that useful and you would like to get some more from me, then please feel free to pick up a copy of my book. It's called Thriving Beyond 50 and you can find it on Amazon using the link below this video. That's all I've got for you today. Please do subscribe to the channel and like this video if you enjoyed it. And I look forward to speaking to you on the next one.